Hello, I'm Amy and this video is part of my Renit Revolution project. I'm going to show you how to pick up stitches through a fabric. In this case it's a second step of the cardiganize process as shown here uh, and that process can be used most straightforwardly to uh, cut open a jumper into a cardigan but could also be adapted to add a trim to any cut edge. So for example like uh, adding a trim to a, a new neck opening. Um, and picking up stitches through a fabric would also be needed for uh, inserting a panel, a vertical panel within a piece of knitting and embellishing, picking up stitches through the fabric and knitting off to add an embellishment. I've shown how to cut the fabric in a previous video and this is where we got up to. A piece of fabric cut vertically into two. As I explained, you can secure this edge if you need to, um, but I'm going to do this one without sewing to secure it so we can see what happens. If you're going to do a sandwich trim, which is what I recommend and I'm going to show, um, especially in the next video, um, you want to be picking up your stitches about a centimetre in from the cut edge, but at least three, three stitches. So I'm going to be picking up there. Um, and so that is a bit more than a centimetre, but I need those three stitches to be sure that that fabric won't kind of unravel and disintegrate um, within the sandwich trim. If you're going to be picking up stitches to perhaps just turn that edge under and maybe like turn it over and tack it down or something to finish it, you might be doing that. Uh, you might want to uh, have a bit more, a few more stitches between the cut edge and where you pick up. So before you can pick up, you need to do some calculations and there are instructions for this on the Cardiganize page of the Renit Revolution website. So I'll just talk you through um, the calculations for this fabric. So um, there are 30 rows per 10 centimetres, so measuring that way, in my old fabric. Uh, and I've measured the um, sample, a sample of the trim that I'm going to use um, to knit off it and that has 22 stitches in 10 centimetres and that was measured um, widthways and so I've divided the stitches per 10 centimetre figure by the rows per 10 centimetre figure to get a multiplier of 0 0.73 so then I can look that up in the multiplier table uh, and I'm looking for the nearest multiplier option to my number so a nice near one is 0 0.75 and that gives a ratio of four to three. So that basically means that I'm going to be picking up three stitches for every four rows of this fabric. Um, and this is a diagram which suggests how you're going to pick those up. And these V's relate to stitches. So we're looking at this one. So I'm going to, the dots are where I pick up and the V's are stitches. So here's a stitch, I go above a stitch and I pick up, above another stitch and pick up, and then above two stitches and then pick up and then I repeat that. I'll, I'll show you on the fabric and hopefully that will be clear. Um, so just to be clear, you're not picking up the actual stitches of this fabric, you're picking up a new yarn through the fabric. So you're kind of reaching through this fabric to pick up this new yarn. You might find that you need a slightly smaller needle than you would um, be knitting on normally for the first row just to help you get through that existing fabric. Um, okay so I'm going to show you and here you go. So I'm going three stitches in from the edge. I'm going to start off by going in there and you need to wrap and then pull through. So because this fabric I'm working with is double knit weight this is really quite straightforward to do. So I go, I jump one stitch, which just means going over that bar, and I wrap and come through. So I've done a stitch, pick up, stitch, pick up, stitch, pick up, stitch, pick up. Then I need to do two stitches, so I'm going to jump one stitch, two stitches there, wrap and pick up, and now I can repeat. So I just jump one stitch. So that's just literally going into the next opening 
and again just one as in the very next row up and then two so I miss a row and go into the next one so I'm time for my repeat again so just the next row one the one above that and then two one two okay this kind of thing is harder to um, indicate on a diagram than it actually is to do so uh, if it just makes more sense to you to say pick up three new stitches for four old rows that's the same thing uh, that that ratio is telling you four to three okay so I'd continue all the way up there to be picking up stitches all the way up and then I'd be ready to knit off them if you're working with a finer fabric like this one that I have here I can do exactly the same um, idea with it um, I might find that I need to pick it up in a slightly different way so if I just quickly show you the calculation for this one so I'm using going to add the same trim so my sample for that was 22 stitches in 10 centimeters but this fabric is much finer there are 54 rows so measuring that way in 10 centimeters um, and if I divide that one divided by that one it gives me a multiplier of 0 0.41 so if I take that to the chart, it's obviously nice and close to the multiplier option of 0 0.4. The ratio is 5 to 2. I want to pick up two new stitches for five old rows. So two rows, pick up, three rows, pick up, repeat. Two rows, pick up, three rows, pick up. So let's have a go at that. Just two, three. So again, I want to be about a centimetre in from the edge and I want to make sure that I've got uh, at least three stitches to work with. So I think I'm going to start here. And I might find that this is actually okay to go through even though this needle and this yarn is so much chunkier than this knit. It's kind of surprising what you can pull through oops okay so I'm going to go up to one two and then up three so you're literally counting one two three in there Something to watch out for is making sure that you stay exactly in the same column all the way up. Um, it gives you a really nice neat trim if you can do that. So two, wrap and through, and then three. One, two, three, going in there. It can be quite time consuming doing this, but it's really, really satisfying if you can just keep going get it really neat keep looking back and checking and make sure that you haven't wavered out of that column because uh, you don't want to have gone all the way up here and realize you made a mistake back here um, so just keep an eye on what you're doing um, so I was just going to say that if if you were working with a really really fine fabric um, or something that was awkward to pull through like this you might find that you um, have more luck going in with a crochet hook like that kind of pulling that through and then hooking it onto your needle in some cases it's sort of even more laborious but it, it can it can be helpful so just showing you that to kind of give you the option okay and an alternative method again, quite different, would be to sew through the fabric to make a row of stitches that can be knitted. Okay, so here I've just shown you how to pick up stitches through a fabric. You'd obviously carry on all the way down the front if you're going to do your cardiganise. Um, in the next video we'll show you how to continue from this point to knit a trim that encloses the raw edge.